Hey everybody, welcome back to Bountiful Blessings Homestead. My name is Kat. I have come out to check on my goats because Ruth is due with babies in seven days. This is Ruth. Let me turn you around. Right there. And then Naomi, who is over there, is due a week after Ruth. So goat's gestational period is 150 days. Technically, they could go any time now. But uh, 150 days for Ruth would be the 8th. And earlier today, I was out here to check on them. She was laying down and looking miserable. So, <gasps> hi ladies. How are we doing? At least you're up on your feet. Hi Naomi, you're not due for another month or two after these ladies, so I'm not as worried about you as I am these girls. So, Ruth here. Hi, baby. I think you're going to have some babies pretty soon. So her ligaments right here. I mean, I can still feel them, but they're pretty loose. You got some babies in that belly? And you can see that her milk sac, she's all bagged up. Yes, I know. Esther, you want to have all the attention. <laughs> yes, you do. Oh, yeah. So you can see her milk sacs all bagged up and she is swollen, swollen. So, Ruth, you may be getting yourself uh, your own stall tonight. Think about that. I don't see any discharge yet, but she's certainly big and swollen. What about you, Naomi? Huh? What about you, baby? Now, Naomi is a little more private. She doesn't like to be have her back end looked at. She's pretty swollen, too. Aren't you, baby? Are you pretty swollen, too? So, both of these girls are due within the next couple weeks. Then Esther here, she's probably due in... We don't know for sure when she got pregnant. We think she's due in April. So, and then these ladies, Mary and Martha, our sisters, hanging out over here. Hello, boys. How are we? How are we, boys? Well, what do you think? Soon? Maybe in a few days? Maybe tonight? We just don't know, do we? Ruth is like, leave me alone. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess. Poor baby. Are you okay? You got it? <laughs> I'm going to go out here. I'm going to go try to help Tim. We have two rabbits that the grandkids got for Christmas. And the rabbits got out today. So you goats are not the only thing I've had a concern today with. So we're going to walk down here. And we're going to see. Oh, there they are. Yeah, they're out in the yard. You can see them right there. There's a black and white one and a white one in there. Running loose. They're not supposed to be. So I'm going to help Tim try to catch these rabbits and put them back in their cage. And then, uh, yeah, all will be well in the world. I'll let you know if we catch them. Well, what do you got there, Tim? I have our black and white rabbit. <laughs> so they both escaped. They escaped. <laughs> And uh, 
we got the white one. I caught her with food. Yep. And then you caught him. Yep. He was behind these blue barrels and... Yeah, he was back here in this crevice, back and forth hiding. So I zipped one hand and kind of pinned him between one my hand and the blue barrel. And then it took <laughs> a couple of... Ah, 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 and then I finally got a hold of him. <laughs> so we're going to go put him away with his... Goodness sakes. You had quite the adventure, you two. There's the other culprit. Oh, she's like, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> and they dug two holes. I don't know which one they dug first, but there's a hole over here. And there's one over here in the corner. So I'm not sure which way they escapade, but one of the two. I caught the white one in that hole this morning. Oh. When it got out was working on that hole this morning. Well, there you go. Yeah. Naughty. Okay, so Baby Watch 2022. Here we are. And we have isolated Ruth on this side in the birthing stall because she really is looking ready to go anytime now. Um, so is Naomi. <laughs> but Naomi's ligaments aren't as loose as Ruth's. Ruth's are really loose. Naomi's are not. So, um, if you're not familiar with ligaments, Naomi won't let me touch hers, but Esther will let me touch hers on her own. So, these are where the ligaments are right here. And if I run my hand down here, I can feel these like pencil like things on each side here. And Esther's are still really good. Naomi's are looser than Esther's, but not near as loose as. Miss Ruth. Ruth's are really loose. Like, they're hardly there. And she's starting to get sunken in um, above her tail there. You can feel it. She's kind of sunken in. So, anytime she could go and she's doing seven days. So, we're going to start separating her at night because they probably will kid at night in the cold because why wouldn't they? And that'd be great. I'll miss it. Hopefully not. Hopefully I'll get out here to see him, to see him go. So, that is it. The rest of the girls are over here on this side. And uh, they're going to have their dinner. And chill for the night. So, And the boys are over here. Hello, boys. <laughs> they're all stuck inside the basket eating. <laughs> so, all right. Good night, ladies. Good night, ladies. Good, Good night, night ladies. ladies. We're, We're going, going to leave, leave you now. now. That's that's from a musical. <laughs> that's free of charge. Yeah, no charge no for charge that. No charge for that. <laughs> Good thing too. They didn't want a refund. <laughs> All right, so that's our update for today on uh, Baby Watch, Baby Goat Watch, goat 2022. Watch 2022. So we will uh, check in later if anything happens tonight and we figure, I mean, I'm going to come out and check on them tonight when we put the chickens away and stuff. So if anything happens tonight, we will add a new part to a video. If not, then we will make a new one tomorrow and we'll check in on them again. So this is, so this is part one. Of however many parts of however it takes. many. That's right. <laughs> Until we have baby goats. That's right. First ones on Bountiful Blessing Homestead. Woohoo! Looking right. forward to it. Excited. Exactly. All right. Until next time. Be blessed. And be, be a blessing. blessing. Bye for now.